Hello and welcome to PCMS Norata and you're watching this video on past paper solutions for IB physics by Sonal Gupta. So I'll quickly read the question. An ohmic conductor is connected to an ideal emitter and to a power supply of output voltage V. So here's the diagram and the following data is available. So we are given the density of electrons that is N, the resistivity rho and dimensions of the conductor. The emitter reading is 2 ampere you have to calculate the resistance of the conductor. So what you need to do is just write down that we know the formula R is equal to rho times L upon A, which implies if you just plug in the values, you can get the resistance of the conductor to be rho, that is 1.7 into 10 to the power minus 8 into L. The length of this conductor is 10 centimeter. So you would write it as 10 into 10 to the power minus 2 to convert it into meters. And upon, uh, we didn't change rho because it's already in meters. And upon the area would be the product of the other two dimensions. So that's 0 0.02 centimeter, which means 0 0.02 into 10 to the power minus 2 square. So when you solve this on multiplying, you would get the answer as 0 0.043 ohms. So that is the resistance which you get from the formula R is equal to rho L by A. In the B part of the question, they say calculate the drift speed V of the electrons in the conductor in centimeter per second. So we know that we would write that current and drift velocity are related, current and drift velocity are related as, because it's a two mark question so you should mention what you know, current and drift velocity are related as follows, that's I current is equal to N E A into V, N is the number density of electrons, E is the charge on an electron, A is the area of the conductor and V is the drift velocity. We have to find V, therefore we would keep V on the uh, right hand side and bring down the other terms. So I upon N E A. Now that means we have V, the drift velocity as I is given to be 2 ampere in the question. The ammeter reading is 2 ampere upon N. The number density of electrons is given to be 8.5 into 10 to the power 22 per centimeter cube times E, the charge on an electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs and times the area of the conductor. So that is 0 0.02 square. In the previous part, we converted into meters, but here we are not converting because it's uh, required that you give your answer in centimeter per second. So solving all this, you will get 0 0.37 centimeter per second. So coming to the question number C part, the electric field inside the sample can be approximated as the uniform electric field uh, between two parallel plates. So determine the electric field strength E. Now in order to determine the electric field strength, we first find out by Ohm's law the potential difference. So by Ohm's law, we know that by Ohm's law, V is equal to I into R. Now we know both, I is given 2 ampere into R we calculated as 0 0.043. Therefore, we have V as 0 0.086 volt. Now we know the potential difference and uh, in the chapter we have also done that electric field strength E can be given as the variation in potential electric potential with the distance d or the length of the conductor. Length of the conductor is given to be 10 centimeter and potential difference we have found out v as 0 0.086. So just plug in the values. So using the formula E is equal to v by d, we write it here 0 0.086 upon 10 centimeter means 0 0.10 meters. So we get the answer as 0 0.86 volt per meter. And in the last part, they say show that V upon E is equal to 1 upon N E rho. Here V is not the electric potential, it's the drift velocity. Now we use the formula that V, the electric potential difference by Ohm's law is equal to IR. And also, as you can see here in this question, 
V will also be equal to E times D. So we can equate IR and ED. That means I times R. R can be written as rho L upon A and that is equal to E times D. But we haven't yet got drift velocity. So we need to write the equation that relates current and drift velocity. So the next step would be you will replace I as N E A V times we have rho L upon A and that is equal to E times D is the length of the conductor. So we'll write as L. Now this L gets cancelled out. A gets cancelled out and E if we bring it down here and N E rho will go to the other side. So this will come here below V and that will automatically give us V that small v the rift velocity upon E is equal to and these terms this and this they'll come down. So we get 1 upon N E rho. So we have proved it. So we are using four formula here. One is the Ohm's law equating it with the uh, relation for electric field strength and potential. Then replacing resistance as rho times L by A and in the end replacing I as N E A into V. And just cancelling the similar terms on both sides and rearranging the terms we can prove what is asked in the question. I hope you understood and if this video was helpful please like us, subscribe us and follow us on Instagram and Facebook at PCM is no Rata. Thank you for watching.